neck, and I got to get our man and that thing. You got to separate them and put them back in their corner. He <laughs> said, so then we can talk about other things. Oh, well, what like they have to be about their man, though. They have to pick him up and revive him. <laughs> 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 That's different. Well, well I, I tell you, I've uh, been through several of these things, and I know they're frustrating. And you just have to guess. Now, in, in uh, 55, Mr. President, we came out of there. They agreed to a half a dozen things and signed up. The unification of, of uh, Germany and the broadening of contacts between our two countries. So we sent this uh, in October. We sent our foreign ministers back to implement these things. We brought. We took up 17 different ideas, and they turned yet yeah, every one of them. Every one. Yeah. Hey. They, um, hey. Just, I don't know. They talk a little bit, and then when you're, but they. I have seen no yielding yet to any of them. He came over here, in my judgment, the way I valued it, valued it to uh, give Israel hell and give us hell and try to get to some of this poor cat off of him. He smelled bad and sent them all out of arms and just uh, got getting whipped in three days and he wanted to divert the attention and get us on the defensive and give us hell. And uh, we didn't engage him. We just kind of let him falter up there. He was pretty much a flop, and he started raising hell with every do good in this country to have a conference. And I said, well, let's see what we do. I want to prepare for it, and what are we going to talk about? They said everything from just a courtesy call to uh, just to meet with him and an exploratory conference. And I finally made Russ go up and start out with Dabrinian and go to uh, Gromyko and then go to Kasigan himself and say, now, we're ready to meet with you, but you come to Washington or you go to Camp David. Wouldn't go to Camp David because Khrushchev had been there. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't come to Washington because the Chinese and the Arabs would give him hell and want me to come sit down in the United Nations, and I said, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I just, uh, by God, I'm not going to, every time a man gets on a horse and gallops over here, he hadn't even told me he's here yet officially. He never did tell me he's even coming. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I think you're absolutely right not to go up there and get out of that. I will be reasonable, and I said I'd go and meet anywhere, so I'll meet him uh, uh, close to some city where we can have the correspondence file because there were 1,300 of them cousin it, and they're going to get everybody's hopes up, but I'm going to try to warn them not to. And we did, and then he wanted to talk further, and I said, that's fine. He said, he's going to not go home Friday. He's going to stay till first Thursday, and then Friday, and he said he's going to stay till Monday. And... I said, when do you want to meet again? He said, well, any time. I said, well, let's meet Sunday. And so we did. But in the 10 hours, we may have moved a little on two things. We'll have to see. But uh, it's uh, about the same experience you said just now. And I don't I think... Uh, his, uh, his talk tonight just uh, it gave no light at all. Just the same old, you take I thought I'd call you and tell you, and I sure appreciate your interest and your support and your help. You've been a tower of strength in every problem concerning your nation. And Whenever there's uh, anything in the country here, as a matter of fact, that I could like do anything, I'll, I'll carry your satchel in here. Now, Daddy, one thing you can do for me is just be damn sure you get well and get strong, and then ready, let, me know and I'll, let me know whenever you're ready, and then we'll get our plane ready, and you can take it slow. But I don't want you to to uh, uh, let yourself get run down and oh, not no, take care of yourself. You just be careful and because you got a hell of a lot of propping up to do around here for a long time, as long as you got me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, if you could just pass on thinking that you think constructive and reasonable, it would be it. <laughs> I've been at it since 1941. Well, uh, my first you still, blow with him. You're still at it, and you're going to have to stay at it a little while longer, so just pull up your britches. Thank Thank you very much, Give my love to Ms. Eisner. I will. Thank Bye. You.